All right, welcome back to Drew Pearson Live. I'm joined now by a member of your Dallas Cowboys and that prize offensive line. They say I can run for a thousand yards behind this offensive line, the way they've come together. And one of those guys that have really brought it all together is free agent Ron Leary. He joins us today right here on DPL. Ron, how you thanks doing? for being with us. Thank you. The question you is, how that. are you doing? How's the offseason going for you? Oh, it's been a great offseason. You know, um, you know, I did a lot of different things. You know, I traveled a little bit, um, you know, but, you know, a lot of all the time you get ready to work you get ready you get ready to get back to working out yeah i hear you after you get a little time but this year you didn't have as much time because you uh had the won the nfc east 12 and 4 and you mm -hmm. went into the playoffs into the second week of the playoffs so the, the off season was cut a little short as far as your time off yeah it was a little shorter but that's a great reason for it to be short yeah. you know? <laughs> so what do you think about the season last season man no one predicted that did you guys feel that that was in you to have that kind of season win the nfc east and go on into the playoffs um at, at the beginning we you know as a team we set a goal you know coach garrett he believed in us you know mm -hmm. everybody in that locker room believed in it so you know i know a lot of people on the outside they were counting us out you know all, you know the predictions all how the season right. was going to go but I mean, we just kept our hard hat on, and we just worked every day. And, you know, we kept working. We came a little short, but, I mean, overall, it was a good season. Yeah, and it was a great season for the offensive line. You had the NFL's all mm -hmm. uh, uh, leading rusher for the year, and DeMarco Murray, and uh, the offense had a, had a great season. The continuity, the gelling of that, I mean, that process, and bringing in a rookie, Zach Martin, to be part of that process, I mean, you guys seem to gel from day one. Yeah, it was a great group. You know, Zach came in and he fit in perfectly with us. You know, he's the type of guy that, you know, he doesn't need all the recognition. He's just going to come and work. And, you know, I, as offensive lineman, that's what it's all about. That's right. And you had a great offensive line coach, but now he's gone to the Washington Redskins. You think that's going to affect you guys, uh, Callahan being gone? Callahan was a great coach. You know, um, me and him came in the same year. So, you know, the game that I learned so far in the NFL has come from him. But, you know, Frank's been around, too. You know, we got a lot of respect for Frank. You know, we trust him. So, you know, we right know on. he's going to come along and keep us going. Right on. Now, you guys in that offensive line, you've seen, as I said, you've seen the gel. Who's calling the, 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 the signals or the defense in that line to make you guys know what you got to do once you break that huddle and read, read the defense? Is that Travis Frederick, the center? Oh, it's definitely Travis. Yeah. Travis, he's probably one of the smartest people I've ever been around in my life. You know, yeah. between him and Romo back there, they put us in a great, in the right position, you know, to execute the blocks and make the plays go. Right on. Now, you came to the Cowboys as an undrafted free agent. Nobody wants to come into the NFL that way. Yeah. But if you have to, hey, you got to do it. And you made the, the most of that opportunity. But I'm sure you were disappointed uh, not getting drafted. But you only, you come out of high school, you only started playing your junior year, right, right in high school. So you're a late bloomer. Do you think that had anything to do with the fact that, you know, they didn't recognize you when you were at Memphis? I think a lot of things had to go into it. You know, um, the big story about my knee issue, was, um, which is not an issue. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, that and then you could say being a late bloomer, but I, mean, I wouldn't change it for the world. You I know, hear you. coming out like that, you know, it humbles you a lot. So, yes. you know, I don't have, I wouldn't change it for the world, like I said. Yeah, it humbles you coming in and uh, you appreciate everything once oh, yeah, you get definitely. there. Spoken like a true free agent myself. Right. And, uh, Sometimes you have to take that road, you know, sometimes everybody, you go to the fork in the road, everybody takes that road that's well-traveled. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to take the road less traveled to get to the same point. Right. And it seems like that's what you've done. Now, your Cowboys had their draft. They got a couple offensive linemen in there. You think that's needed? Uh, I mean, you know, you can never have too many offensive linemen. Right. You know, uh, we lost a couple key guys. You know, Jeremy Parnett, he was, a great, uh, he was a great part of the offensive line that he left on and a couple other guys. But, um... I think they'll come in, you know, as long as they're ready to work, because we're a group that we work. You mm -hmm. know, that, that's what we pride ourselves on, working, not talking too much. So if they come in ready to work with that same mentality, then they'll fit in with us. Yeah, the Cowboys, uh, everybody thought they might draft a running back in the, that la in the uh, previous draft, and uh, they didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jerry says he, of the philosophy that he thinks anybody could, could run behind this offensive line and have success. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that way? Do you feel like you're going to miss DeMarco and somebody could st anybody else could step in and still get 1,800 yards? I mean, it's an honor for, for you know, um, Jerry Jones to think that highly of us. But, um, I mean, DeMarco was a great back. You know, he, he did it all. He was our guy that held it down. But um, we have a lot of faith in our running backs on the team. You know, we signed McFadden, and then we got three guys coming back that we have a lot of faith in. So 
I feel like we just do our job. Those guys are quick enough, explosive enough that they'll hit the hole and they'll get the play done. Okay, now that the draft's behind us, I guess OTAs and mini camps are all ahead of you. Uh, what are you doing now to start getting prepared for next season? I guess right now it's just kind of refreshing on the playbook. You know, uh, we're doing our meetings and things right now, doing some on-field work to get your feet back under you and um, getting ready to hit it hard in about, about three more weeks of OTAs. Yeah, before you know it, it'll be here. You'll be strapping it on again. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Cowboy fans can't wait either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to protect that, uh, what is it, 35-year-old quarterback? Oh, Tony yeah. Tony Romo? Yeah, Can yeah. you do it? <laughs> right, we'll get it done. All right, let me hear a hut hut. Hut hut. Hut hut. Oh, man, that's a hut hut for sure. Here's Rod Leary, number 65, free agent with the Dallas Cowboys, and a big part of their current offensive line. He's right here on Drew Pearson Live. Appreciate you being with us, Rod. No problem, man. Right Thank on. You. Have a good rest of the offseason, and we look forward to a great season. All right, Deb. All right, Drew Pearson Live will continue right after this.